Imagine living in a world where we can't go outside because the air is too polluted. Imagine living in a world where our oceans are devoid of life. I don't know if I would want to live in a world like that, would you? Donald Trump has announced that the United States would be withdrawing from the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement. Before I go any further, no, Donald Trump does not want to destroy the world, but he doesn't feel it's important to help either. Mr. Trump said during last year's presidential election that he would do what he could to help America's oil and coal industries. America jobs are important, but the environment and the future of our planet is also important. Welcome back to IO, I'm Charlotte Dobre and I love nature. Just being in nature or being able to swim in the ocean is like the greatest thing. And I think a lot of people take it for granted. The Paris Climate Agreement committed the USA and 187 countries to keep rising global temperatures well below 2 degrees Celsius, with the hope to limit them even more to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Speaking at the White House, Mr. Trump called the Paris Agreement a deal that aimed to disadvantage advantage and impoverish the US. He also said the agreement would cost the US 3 trillion in lost GDP and 6.5 million jobs. He did say that he wants to negotiate a Paris Accord that is fair to the United States. It's great that Donald Trump is trying to help American citizens, but the US is being hit hard with the agreement because it's causing a large percent of the damage. The US contributes 15% of global emissions of carbon. It's the second leading emitter of greenhouse gases behind China. So how did the world react to this move? According to the leaders of France, Germany and Italy who released a joint statement, the Paris Agreement can't be negotiated since it's a vital instrument for our planet, societies and economies. Canada's environment minister said she was very disappointed. UK PM Theresa May also expressed her disappointment and so did a United Nations spokesperson. Elon Musk is leaving his role as a Trump administration advisor in protest. And in the last few days, landmark buildings all over the US and other countries lit up bright green in support of the Paris Accord. The only two other countries that decided not to sign up for it are Syria and Nicaragua. Okay guys, I'm going to respond to a few comments from our video, The Great Barrier Reef Can No Longer Be Saved. AJ Lion Gaming said, I hate to say it, but she's probably driving a car right now. Actually, I don't have a car. I take the bus and I bike and I have all my life. Nader DX 12 said, we should make a big ice cube and drop them in. <laughs> Definitely a good idea. I like your thinking. Let's just pull over a big iceberg from Antarctica. That'll save the Great Barrier Reef. I also feel like it won't. <laughs> Sargan Bihari said, come on America, you can do it. Irrespective of your president's views, you can help the world because we need you. Climate change cannot be restored without America. What she said. That is all for now. Thanks for watching IO. Don't forget to like that video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to IO for all your daily news and I'll see you in the next one.